YouTube. Welcome back. It's already been two weeks. Can you believe it? I have new hair. Spring hair. It's not curling under. Um, it's storming here. <sighs> Welcome to Arkansas in the spring, right? So, before I do everything, happy floss soup time. It is um, April the 11th. It is Monday. I'm recording late. Shame on me. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the madness. So sorry just to bombard you. I am Mel. This is Stitch with Mel, and I am so glad that you're here with me. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't have a lot to show, um, but I've got a lot of talking because, you know, it has been two weeks since I've seen you, and you guys are some of my biggest life. <laughs> so I'll keep it short maybe so first things first I hurt my finger this really bites and um, I don't know if it's gonna slow me down on stitching it's really sore I got a new couch today and uh, I went to pull out my old couch because um, just stupid like that <laughs> Um, my old couch was a <clears throat> leather couch, very heavy, and lots of material. So I went to grab a hold of an end to pull it up, and when I did, that fingernail just came off. It's not the whole fingernail. It's just half, and it's behind the quick. It's sore. Um, anyways, I let the moving guys do the rest. So I got on a couch. It's been a busy week here. Um, had to get a new refrigerator the other day. Storming, storming, storming. I'm up in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, there's a noise. Ran into the kitchen to find the source of the noise. My freezer was partially defrosted. Well, that's not good. So, fortunately, my grandma insisted that I keep my deep freeze whenever I moved in. And so, I moved all of the meat from the freezer because I'm, I'm a meat eater now. And that's all I do. I moved all of the meat from the little freezer into the deep freeze, and it, it remains there now. So, I did get a new freezer. It's different. I wanted um, one with the French drawers on top, the drawer underneath. This was sold, but I got this. So, same refrigerator, just not French drawers. No big deal. I don't have a lot. It's just me. You know, holidays are the biggest times. There's a lot of room in it, a whole lot of room in it. So, I'm good. Um, anyways, got that, got that. Some of you guys have been so sweet to me on Instagram. Lost one of my dearest friends last week. That was hard. I didn't stitch a lot. Um, honestly, I came home and went to bed like every night last week. Like as soon as I got home, it was, it was a hard week. So, um, I just kind of resolved that this week I would get things done and, um, yeah, so here I am. <laughs> um, I do have two complete finishes and they're not FFO'd. They're just finished stitching wise. That mess right there just seems to keep growing. All of my whips, I just need to touch everything. I think that's going to be my plan this week. It's just to touch everything that I have going. Um, I need to see what I need to work on the most. Which, you know, things like Quaker Christmas and um, Hawk Run Hollow, both of them, those are year-long projects, and I know that. So I need to just work consistently, you know, once a month on them. I need to get back in a routine and get it done. Um, I started working my business more, and, um, you know, because... You guys, I love. My business makes me money. So, I've got to get that going. And I and I have. Um, I've started working it again. And so, I just need to stick to a plan. Um, get it on paper because you guys know I execute well when I put it on paper. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So, it's the beginning of a new month since you guys have been with me. And so, I did have a new start. <coughs> I'm not doing any more new starts. I'm working on whips. This I had already told myself I was going to do for my birthday month. That was my birthday start. That's what I'm going to do. So, um, you know, it's if you've been with me any amount of time, you know that this is a, a, this is a week. So, Daddy's birthday is in two days. 
and then Friday I'm going to just kind of disappear and it'll all be okay. Um, I have therapy tomorrow. <laughs> he will tell me it'll all be okay. Um, hmm. And then we'll get back to normal next week. Okay, let me show you what I started. I'm going to post the picture of what this is going to be at the end. The pattern doesn't make sense. You guys wouldn't, you, you couldn't make sense from the pattern. And the version of um, E-Stitch or whatever it is that I use doesn't print you a picture of the finished product. It also doesn't print back stitching and doesn't print a lot of things because I'm using a free version. So this is going to take a lot of work. So what happened was um, I met a friend on on um, the internet um, and we just started chatting. He's a fashion designer and I was like, cool, could you make me something, you know, to cross stitch? He was like, yeah. So I think it was like a day later he sent me this picture. And it was a picture of a dad and son, young son, in like a puzzle piece form. Very unique. Like, uh, I was struck. And I was explained, please. And so, it's not my story to tell, but basically his parents got divorced. He was taken, his part Italian, and he was taken to Italy to grow up. And so, it's the relationship with him and his dad. That's a lot. So... I want to do this picture justice because I am going to give it to him and I also, you know, know that it's going to take a lot of work. I don't think he realizes how long it's going to take. Um, it's not like I hate, it's not complete full coverage, but it's a lot. And there was a lot of shading and I get that. So as the picture develops, I'll have to figure out which part of the shading I need to leave and what I don't. Um, yeah, it's going to take some work, but it's worth it. It's fun too. So this is where I've gotten. So just to give you an idea, this is fixing to turn into a puzzle piece. So this will be the first puzzle piece that I have. Um, it's a little lopsided in the camera, but it's, it's not too bad on my Q-snap. Anyways, so very neutral colors. Um, I was like, I need more color. But, you know, when you ask somebody to do something for fun, you don't know what to expect. So um, there's lots and lots of beiges and browns and tans and almost whites. And yeah, so um, I'm doing it in DMC. The material I'm doing it on. I think I told you the story about me dyeing it. I believe this is a 28, I want to say this is a gel blend. I have snapped the label under my Q-snap. Anyways, I dyed it navy blue and let it drip dry and it drip dried all over my washer. It's fine, it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, super pretty that material I'm proud of the material so I'm looking forward to getting some more of that done I spent probably 12 hours this week working on it probably close to it so I got quite a bit done that's not even a quarter of the sheet but I got quite a bit done okay next I worked on butterfly of course butterfly I try to keep up once a week <laughs> when I started it oh my throat's dry y'all this weather if y'all are in or around Arkansas, just know it's going to be bad tonight. The next three days, but tonight. Um, I try to keep it updated every week. Like, do it on Sunday. But it's up to date. Aren't they pretty? So, I think this blue is my favorite. Now, typically, this blue is my favorite. But for the butterfly, I am digging this. But anyways... I don't like the temperature that goes with it because it was like 46 degrees. So I'm loving them. That's going to be such a fun little piece. It's probably going to go in Erica's room, which is going to end up being one day the craft room, but it was fun to do. All right. Now my finishes. 
and I'm legit done. Like I'm already on, I'm only 10 minutes in. Oh, let me give you an update on the family. Let's see. Erica goes on her missions trip next, next week, two weeks. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. No, I think it's the six. I think it's three weeks out. Um, I don't know. She goes on her missions trip next month. She'll be gone um, two weeks, I believe it is, maybe three, two or three weeks, and then she'll be coming back, and um, then I think her boyfriend is going to come up here and meet the family, just meet everybody, spend a couple of days, and then she'll be heading off to camp. So she is working um, kids camp and youth camp, and they pay good money, so I'm proud of her, and then she'll be going back to Texas to work her camp. And then she'll be staying down there for school. She called me. I don't think I've told y'all. She called me. I think it was a week ago. And she's like, Mom. And I was like, what? Because she doesn't do that. And she's like, I'm going to be a junior next semester. And I was like, how did that happen? And she's like, I, I just really worked hard. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. That's exciting. But, um, you know, she's got these big scholarships. And so I was like, Sissy, why don't you go ahead and double major? Since you're going to be graduating early, why don't you just go ahead and plan to get, you know, a secular major, just in case you need it for something. So I think she's going to go for business management, which is good. Um, that way, you know, she's got the business side of things and the church side of things. And it can just all kind of merge. You know, whatever she ends up doing, she's got both. So I think that's what she's going to do, I think. It's Erica. We don't know. Um... So she's good. Katie had or has an interview this week. I'm not sure if it's happened yet to go to a hospice company. Um, it's going to be a Monday through Friday job instead of a rotating shift like I have, which is exciting. So she'll be home. I like it. Um, her husband just got a job with an insurance company. Not sure which one. Um, I don't know. I don't know about him. Uh, anyways, as long as he, you know, sticks with it and gets the job done and, and does well. Um, Trey is, I think I've told you all this, but Trey is coaching, um, the internet sports games. There's a name for that and I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> anyways, super proud of them. They're having all kinds of competitions. Um, one of our dear friends was just, um elected to be the superintendent of the school we were concerned because there's another um hierarchy change and trey is on contract um based on who needs him so you know we were concerned if somebody else came in would he have a job so we're thankful for that he's gonna have a job and he's good so yeah and then the wedding's coming in october so excited about that um, for those of you who have been, a couple of you have asked about my, my weight loss journey. I hit my big goal last week and, um, it happened during everything happened with Steph. So I really didn't advertise it. Um, but I was stupid excited to see those numbers pop up and I've lost two more pounds since then. So my total loss numerically is 32 pounds. Now, what that means is Melissa doesn't do math well and Melissa does not think about the fact that, you know, you can gain a couple of pounds here, lose them here, gain them here, lose them here. And it's just a constant rotating vicious cycle. Um, so, uh, you know, you're female and your body just changes all the time and it's moody and, you know, you hold water and you do stupid stuff like that. So, you know, I might wake up one morning and I've gained like five pounds. And I'm like, my goodness, what did I do to do that? And then, you know, the next morning you've lost seven. So, who knows? So, my mentor in this whole diet thing says, women are stupid. That's why. <laughs> I was like, no, we're not. We're just complex. So, who knows? From the first number to today's number, I've lost 32 pounds. So, I do appreciate all of the help and support and love and, and you know, all of the things. Um, it really hasn't gotten harder. Um, it really hasn't gotten easier. 
just, you know, my, my brain kind of kicked into gear from day one. I was like, okay, Melissa, you're not going to buy sweets. You're not going to eat sweets. You're not going to eat carbs. You don't need fruits and vegetables in the house anymore. So throw them away. And I did. I still have a few things around because of Erica. I could throw them away. She generally just eats out when she's home or ask me to pick up something, cook it for her. And it's no big deal. Um, but the temptation's not there and the cravings haven't been there. I, you know, my coffee is my sanctuary. That's, that's where I go when I need. And I do drink coffee throughout the day. Um, the creamer that I get is like five milligrams of carbs, whatever. And so, you know, I'm not sweating it. Trav says as long as I keep everything under double digits, I'm okay. I'm not sure if that means double digits all through the day or double digits per <laughs> serving. But it's five milligrams. I'm not sweating it. Because typically, you know, I've got enough exercise going. I've got enough things going that I'm okay. Um, so that's where I'm at on that. Anyways, family is caught up. Oh, my daddy had a sugar scare the other day. Apparently when you're hypoglycemic, you cannot eat a king size zero bar and drink a Coke for lunch. So that was a scary day. That's all I'm going to say about that. He's good. <clears throat> Grandma is great. She'll be watching this saying, oh no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, you know, she just can't take her. How old is she now? 88. And she's just so fun. Um, she has the best time. Her and Aunt Donna both do. Um, and I think Aunt Debbie texts them. I don't think, I don't think they do video calls, but Aunt Donna and, and Grandma do video calls and Aunt Debbie texts them. And the girls love it all. Trey doesn't communicate with anybody. But they'll text me and they're like, oh my gosh, your grandma. <laughs> I'm like, great, what happened now? But they have such a good time just talking. And, uh, Katie, you know, she has more time on her hands, so she'll call and they'll chat for hours and she'll talk to the cats and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And Erica just, you know, she'll call in and she'll give updates about what clothes she's bought or whatever. And Grandma just feeds their energy. It's so fun. So she's doing good. My uncle, um, Uncle Gary, Aunt Donna's uncle, um, has hurt his knee, so they've been kind of babying him a little bit. And then my Uncle Rick best I know is doing good. Y'all just keep him in prayers. Um, yeah, he's, he's fighting. So we're proud of him. Um, anyways, <clears throat> all right. On to the finishes. Drum roll, please. This was March Madness with Steel City Stitchers. This was my challenge piece came out of the March Madness. And it is finished. I can't see. It's not seeable. All right, there we go. So, Hoop There It Is by Beth Twist of Heartland Samplery. <clears throat> Can y'all believe I've been monogamously stitching? It's not me. It's not fun. I like to do more. And then Baby Got Back Stitch. I insisted I was going to finish it this weekend, and I did. I got to hear this one motif, this one, at work yesterday and ran out of thread. None. 321. No big deal. Like, do I have any at home? I think I used it all. Because this took, I think it was three skeins. <clears throat> so I came home, found it in another kit, stole it, finished the motif. There she is. All right, so I really do have to get these um, framed. I, like I said before, am planning on framing them in kind of neutralish frames together, and they're going to go up there after the spring comes down. Um, that's it. Like, that's it. I think this is the shortest video ever. Uh, what are my plans? I really did want to touch everything. Um, this weekend is a long weekend home. I don't have any plans. I think I might go to the church Easter program um, over at Erica's church. Um, the one in Cersei, not the one in Texas. Uh, <laughs> they, they're house, so I have one in Texas. But um, 
I think I'm just going to stitch all weekend and try to touch everything and get it done. I've got to work at the office some this week, but I, I'm doing it at night now. Mom's brought on somebody else and we don't need to be in each other's way. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go through. I for sure want to touch the Hawker and Hollows, both of them. I for sure want to touch Quaker Christmas. Um, which I've got a lot of progress done on that. You guys have seen that. Um, I need to work on Mom's project. I need I need to work on some of the smalls and just get them done. And, oh yeah. I have two stitching retreats that I still need to get some smalls done on. So, I need to get those done too. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. For Stitch Etc. I think it's a stocking that we're... Or ornament. We're supposed to do an ornament. So I need to go through my books to find which ornament I'm going to do and get that done. Ornaments are fun and they're easy. Um, and I will probably mount them, not stuff them. So it'll be even easier just for me to do. I've just got to get my inspiration back to finish. Y'all, I still haven't done spring. Grandma's not pouting, so it's fine. Um, you know what? I have this whole collection over here that somebody sent me. Of nothing but ornaments so that's probably what I'll do I'll pull one of those out they're beautiful I just gotta get them done um and then for stitch con it's a theme I have a whole theme I have goodies you're not gonna see they did come from Hobby Lobby I will take a picture of them when I go to stitch con and post them when I get back um I'm at StitchCon A for anybody watching who's going to be there. So, whoop, whoop. Give a shout. And then, I got some finishing I need to do. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. It's ridiculously um, small, but it's okay. You know, that happens. Next video, just know you're going to be in for an entire weekend of stitching. So, I need to work on Change the World. That's what I need to work on. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, my quote for this week, believe you can and you're halfway there. Theodore Roosevelt. Take care of yourself. Stay safe in the storms. I will see you next time. Bye.